Even as they waited, there were some still doubting whether it would actually happen. It was only announced yesterday that one of the biggest stars in music history was coming to Froome. Only those living close enough to get here in person were able to snap up just 500 golden tickets. You must consider yourself one of the really very lucky ones very, to be here. Very, very lucky, yes, very lucky. Uh, this is to tell my grandchildren. <laughs> I've been pretty moved to tears most of today because I can't believe this is happening. And What's it going to be just, like when you get inside? Oh, God knows. <laughs> He's my life. He should have married me. <laughs> he should have been me. <laughs> today might be the day. <laughs> you never know, do you? <laughs> What's not in doubt is this former cattle market is a smaller venue than he's used to. His current tour's been selling out arenas across America. I saw you flash a smile, that seemed to me to say. But it appears even Paul McCartney needs a warm-up gig. And around this small Somerset town, just 20 miles from Glastonbury, it seemed somehow like it was destined to be here. Thank you. That's Thank you. Here. Thanks a lot. Those running Froome's oldest record shop have all got tickets and, like much of the town, were closing early today to be there. It's probably the best moment in my life, really, so to actually the thought of actually seeing Paul in my hometown is... is you know, I, can't, I can't put it into words, basically. Could you quite believe it was real when you heard about it yet? It's a dream, basically. I think, I think I'm going to wake up soon, really, because it's just like, uh, yeah, it's just unheard of. Then, after all the anticipation, a thumbs up as he arrived. And for those not lucky enough to see him up close, there was at least the sound leaking through the front door to entertain the fans outside, who can also say they were there when Paul McCartney played Froome. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Somerset.